I was cooperating. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Ange and this is my channel and this is my little fur family. <laughs> she does not like no. this. <laughs> this is little Alice, my cute little fluffy white baby and she is a purebred ragdoll and she was born with a little stumpy tail which makes her super unusual. She really hates being picked up and she's not at all a lab cat, as you can see. A little bit of struggles here. She's pretty angry. <laughs> she's so angry at me right now. Oh my god, that's <laughs> And um, this little monkey over here is Hatta. He's a Norwegian forest bit. cat. And he is a lap cat. Very much the opposite of Alice. They are like chalk and cheese. Two completely <laughs> different cats. Come on, sweetie. Uh, just let her go. She's done. <laughs> She's done. No. She's looking at me as though to say, help. <laughs> she can be quite affectionate, but she is a little bit grumpy when she gets picked up against her will. So she usually gets left to her own self and does exactly what Alice wants whenever she wants. She's a bit of a she's a bit of a grumpy cat. <laughs> but she's very sweet when she wants to be and she can be very cute. And I will let you go in a second, sweetie. Just give me one more minute. He's already gone. Oh is he? Bring him back. This one here likes featuring in all no. of our videos <laughs> and all of our life and all of everything. Uh, so Alice has just gone off to do her own thing because that is the kind of cat that she is. This dude loves the attention. Look at him. So he is <laughs> the definition of a lap yeah. cat. The two of them are kind of frenemies. They don't really hate each other, but they also don't love each other. He has loves ten her. Well, no, he doesn't love her. Yeah. He definitely doesn't. He loves playing with her and going sitting with her, and she loves <laughs> running away from him and not being around him. And who can blame her? He smells. He has the rankest, most disgusting breath of any cat I've ever met. And he also has a really rough tongue, so not only when he licks you is it really rough, <laughs> it's also really, smells really smelly. Ugh. Such bad breath. I am covered in fur. Like, I can feel it in my eyes. I, I, I have to pluck balls of hair out of my beard every day. I literally... It's probably full of it right now. <laughs> Clean <thing>. me. No. <laughs> anyway, so we decided to film this video today because it's actually Alice's fifth birthday. When we brought her home, she was only 12 weeks old and oh, the tiniest kitten you will ever have seen. And it was she terrifying. She fit into like one hand yeah, when we could, I first met her. We could pick her up with one hand when we first met her when she was five weeks old. She was so cute. Really, really white. You couldn't see any of her dark markings. She's a seal bicolor. Those colors in her fur developed the older she got. They told us that that would happen. Uh, I didn't quite believe it. And now she has like all those really cute dark markings around her beautiful blue eyes and like it's all dark on her ears and I think if she had a fluffy tail like she was meant to and if she hadn't been born with a little stumpy tail she would have a really dark brush tail as well. The Coloring. little bunny tail that she's got has is is got a dark patch on it. I feel like we've gone completely off topic here. Yeah there's <laughs> no real format here we don't have like a title card or anything we just started rambling about our cats. cats because Because <laughs> they're just going them. away at the end of the week and we needed to chuck together a quick video. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that seems extremely lazy, but you know what? I, lazy people. We've been it's planning fine. to do this cat video for several weeks now, filming little clips of their day-to-day -day sort of silly doings and just some like weird stuff that they do and some normal stuff that they do and how adorable they are when they sleep. And the two of them, they, they get along okay. Largely, as long as he doesn't like go on her because Touch he's her or go twice near her. her size, he's twice her weight. She's quite little and graceful and delicate, and he is clumsy and fat. She's and also heavy. she's also like quite insecure, I think, about her her lack of tail. So whenever anyone touches her little bunny stump. Yeah, she starts to freak out a little tiny bit. She, she doesn't, doesn't like, like having her tail touched like most cats do. Had her, he'll let us stroke him from head all the way to the end of his oh, tail. He and he loves it. Takes it however it's given to him. <laughs> he <laughs> loves pats. He loves attention. And he is... Get over here. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah. When we got him when Alice was what? A year, a year and a half. She's 18 yeah. months old. Because we thought we'd get her a friend and we didn't realize that we were buying her uh, mortal frenemy. nemesis. No, frenemy. frenemy. The smelliest, most disgusting. <laughs> most annoying younger brother he, in the world. He eats all of her food. He takes up the whole litter tray. <laughs> <laughs> when we first brought Alice home, she was really timid and really, really, uh, I don't know, kind of a ninja. I get terrified, even to this day, whenever I can't find her, I start freaking out, like, where is maybe she? she maybe she ran off, maybe she's left us, maybe she doesn't love me anymore. Not that she actually loved me. <laughs> no, but I always worry because she used to go missing when she was first brought home. We couldn't get a collar on her because nothing was small enough. We tried putting it on her and she just slipped her head out of it. And she used to hide in some of the weirdest places to have on the TV cabinet. Oh and stuff. man, that was really hard. And she gets comfortable place, in really hidden spots. Yeah. Even, even now she does. Even now she still likes to go up into her own sort of like cramped really cramped places. She loves sleeping in cramped places. Either that or on his office chair after he's abandoned it. She likes his butt smell. She doesn't love me. <laughs> she likes the warm places my ass has been. <laughs> and she'll sleep on our pillows on the bed. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, just... Whoa, whoa! whoa. But I'm not a fan of anyway, his butt is. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> I guess his tail is getting you in the face. He's, he's friendly, but he's such a pain. Bad. Yeah, he's a real pain in the butt. Like ever since we brought him home, he's sort of been I don't know. At first, Alice really mothered him, and it used to be really cute because she'd clean him, and she used to be bigger than him, and it was so weird because now he's like twice her size. But when we first brought him home, she was twice his size, and it was so adorable watching her. Like, well, she hated him to start off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. there was like a month period. No, where... it was about a two week period. And after two weeks, I went to work one day and I came back and he had taken a bunch of photos of them snuggling on the couch together. And it was so cute. She was curled around him, big spooning him. And it was so adorable. And that was and the first time. And they have never done anything such cute. They, they snuggle only at the end of the bed in winter. It's kind she, of only because She of puts off his her loathing of him for the warmth. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> he's extremely warm. He has a really high body temperature. And he gets hot really easily. One time, he shaved all of his fur off and I cried and cried. What the lion cried. Cried. Yeah, I brought her home, him home from the groomer. And uh, she told me to do it, but then when I showed it to him and all of his flabby skin was everywhere, oh. and she was like, Oh, we made you ugly! We made <laughs> and she literally started bawling. I and I was like, Jesus, man, I couldn't, I, I just, it was, I knew what was happening and I totally expected it because it was just before summer. It was the dead end of spring. It was just before summer. We really wanted to like get rid of some of his excess fur. Their fur is for cold weather and the weather He's not an just... Alaskan igloo cat. He looks like an igloo cat. He looks like a cat that's wearing an igloo all the time. What? <laughs> so wearing big. an igloo? <laughs> He's so big. Like an igloo's worth of fur. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. We shaved him. All of him. <laughs> even even his tail even up to like tail. a little tuft. Yeah. It looks so there funny. Was a little tuft. It was so hilarious. And after a couple of weeks, I kind of got over it. But the first day, he just looks so pathetic ugly. and ugly. Yeah. <laughs> he looked like a wrinkly. And normally he looks glorious, like a yeah, old like samurai a... with a beard. <laughs> like a beard. With a beard. A beard. Yeah. A bearded samurai. He's like a little old man cat. He's still very kitten like. But he runs out of energy because he's really, so fat. Yeah, he runs out. He's really, he burns really, through it real quick really and then he excitable. Goes and he'll like run around like a mad Haddock, which is why we named him Haddock because he was a little bit crazy. No, also, we named her Haddock okay, because we named her Alice. It's true, it's true. We named our cats Alice and the Haddock because I have a little bit of an Alice in Wonderland thing. Fetish. Um, a big problem. You may have seen my Cheshire cat tattoo in a couple of my other videos. So our very first video like was a uh, Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass palette, was it not? Uh, the first two I months. remember these things. The I edit everything. He edits everything. He's gonna edit this video. Right. <laughs> I am so not Good looking luck. forward to that. Neither of you. It's gonna be a I mess. Know. 
It's gonna be a huge mess. 20 yeah. minutes of just rambling about our cat. Yeah, but that's okay because we love them. Hey, Hannah, come down here. Alice, come on. We're fe feeding them because they like being fed. Alice is the grossest eater. Oh, she's such a slob when she eats. She drools everywhere. She's so messy and she like plucks all of the food out of the bowl, puts it on the ground. And she'll get a, a she'll bit. scoop a mouthful of dry food out of like kibble out of her bowl, put it on the floor in front of her, and then munch on it on the floor and like slobber all over it. She's like such What's a girl. It's so such a messy eater. I have no idea why. In all other ways, she's super graceful. Oh, he's made a mess. Yeah, well. he has. Uh, normally, Probably. Hatter isn't that messy an eater actually because he doesn't want to waste any of his food. He just got He doesn't it. want to waste any of Alice's food as well. <laughs> we have to ration his food out a little bit because he, he's got a bit of a, a belly going on. She hates this. So much. Oh, like, she's you can gonna see die the hate in me. her eyes. There's so much hate in her eyes. She's not going to trust us for like a couple of weeks. <laughs> no, she'll be fine. She'll get over it. Oh my gosh, you're getting so much fur on you. Uh, yeah, you can pat her and then... It's like a everywhere. cloud of... White fluff in your <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got a little beard going on there. Yeah, they're really sleepy and really cute most of the time. The times that they are obnoxious and naughty, like, ah. Mm. Uh, sometimes in that way is good. Yeah, with Hannah. He's a especially. nice, friendly lap cat, but like he sometimes. runs around at four in the morning when you're trying to sleep and like yeah. jumps on you in and your sleep. And scratches the wall and boxes. Eats and... clothing. He tries oh, to chew holes in clothing. That's an anecdote. That, there's a story. I had a nap one day on the rug, and I was just lying there with him. We were having a really nice little afternoon snooze, and I woke up. And he was chewing the shirt that I was wearing. He ate a little hole He always hole in eats it. my clothes as well, like more often than anything else. You have softer clothing. I do. My soft, my clothing, all my nice fabric, all the soft stuff. He likes chewing on the it. The thing is, you think he would just chew on it, but he literally tears pieces of fabric off and then swallows it. So we and have then to it stop comes him out in his poop and in his. I don't know how he always and then Occasionally, it. like he'll, he'll get a hairball. He doesn't chew my clothes, but he has chewed through an expensive set of. Mine. Yeah, so he, he has a habit of chewing things he's not allowed to, so we have to hide stuff all the time. Her makeup brushes. Oh my gosh. He knocks them off, chews the ends of them. Yeah. I can't buy flowers anymore. I used yeah, to buy her to, flowers Every all the time. week, like every like at least once a fortnight, I'd be getting flowers, or like once a month or whatever. He took two sets of flowers uh, of him, him knock, knocking them over on the floor, putting water and flowers everywhere, and then eating them. First to shredding that them. We basically had nowhere to hide them that he couldn't access. Exactly. Them. So we just stopped getting flowers because, yeah, basically he just destroyed them. And I used to love getting my flowers all the time. It was like such a cute thing. He I, was just I used to like them. buying them because it was like an easy way to get into your good graces. And now I just, that's yeah, gone. Like, nice. I actually do good <laughs> things. He has to actually now. like work so effort. much harder. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and just hearing a lot of like cute little stories about our cats and how we got them and stuff like that. Mad rambling. Yeah, mad rambling about them and happy birthday to my big girl, my five year old baby. She looks I, really happy. She's so unhappy about this, happy but she's so cute. To me. Happy birthday. I want to kill my owners. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Yeah. Stay excellent. Is <laughs> <laughs> I know, stay excellent. Hopefully And we'll see you in the next week's video, whatever that happens to <laughs> Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>